so here we are in photoshop so first of all we need to import the photographs go to file open and select the image open this in photoshop so now we need to cut out the subject from this background there are many ways you can do but i'm gonna select the quick selection tool from here and now just make a selection of this model take your time to make a perfect selection So our selection is pretty much done. Now click on select and mask. Here in the view mode you have a lot of option but click on on black and give the opacity 100%. Take the second brush from here refine edge brush and start refining the edges is required like here. and here as well now add little bit of smooth 15 and a little bit of 50 percent contrast and take this uh, decontaminate color and the in the output setting output to new layer and hit on ok so our background is removed we have our a new layer of our model now select this layer and press ctrl T right click of your mouse and flip horizontal because our effect is going to be here now confirm it now you can move the model and place whatever you like so I'm gonna place the model like this and press ctrl T and make it a little bit of bigger and confirm it. Now we need to make the canvas bigger. Now take the crop tool from here and make the canvas bigger like this. And take down from here a little bit. Now I'm happy with that. Click on confirm. Now we need the background click on the adjustment layer and choose solid color and now you can select any color you want but for select black for white for now complete white for now hit on ok now place this layer just below the model layer you can give a name to this layer background Now select the model copy layer. Now press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer. Now you can give them. Now I'm gonna give this layer to model. And this one warp. Now hide the model layer for a while and select the warp layer. Now go to filter liquify now here you can find a lot of option select the first one forward warp tool and start warping the subject like this you can make the brush bigger and smaller using bracket keys So once you have done, let the setting as default and hit on OK. Now select this layer and add a layer mask from here. 
now select the mask press ctrl i to invert this now everything is hide under this layer mask we will get back them soon now make invisible visible the model layer and select this and add a layer marks now select the mask now we need the brush now I am gonna creating a brush with text now create a new layer from here and make sure that your background is completely white now take the type tool from here and type whatever you want I'm gonna type freedom make sure that the color is completely black now press ctrl T and make it bigger like this now here is our text now take the selection tool rectangular marquee tool from here and just a selection of this text now go to edit and define brush preset now you can give a name to this brush I'm gonna type here freedom and hit on ok now press ctrl D to deselect the selection and delete this we don't need this now select the mask of this model and take the brush from here as you can see the brush is selected now we need to uh, give some add a setting to the brush click this icon the brush the, uh, next to the brush and here you can play with the setting click shape dynamics and in the side jitter give it 100 percent and switch to the scattering I think 600% is great and in the count is 0 and the count jitter 0% now back to the shape dynamics and I give it minimum diameter 20% angle jitter no 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 we don't need this also pretty much okay close this now as you can see the brush is ready to go now select the mask of this model and make sure that the foreground color is black now make the brush very small you may not seen that but it's work and start painting like this oh it's too much big make it little bit smaller as you can see now click of the marks in warp player and this time the foreground color has to be white now as you can see make the brush sm smaller and start painting like this paint over 
his face because we don't need the effect of his face take your time to make a nice composition the more you practice the more results will be now make the foreground color black and i don't want this here so delete this out so i am happy with this effect now hold shift and select both of this layer and press ctrl j and you can give a name of this like the effect and here is our background now i am gonna change the background color click here and choose a color so i'm gonna give a sky color so little bit of cyanish color a light cyan color hit on okay now select the effects and go to the adjustment layer and select levels and check this mark this is the clipping mask so that this only affect the model only not the background and take this slider to the right side as you can see the contrast are increasing and take it left side to increase the highlights So I am pretty much happy with the effect. Close this. As you can see before and after. As you can see before and after. Now I am gonna add some of clouds to the sky. Since this is a sky, we need has to be clouds. So take select the background layer and create a new layer just above this layer, and you can give a name to this cloud. now take the brush and right click of your mouse and you can click the gear icon here and select load brush in many photoshop version you may have seen import brushes they both are same load brushes and here is our cloud brushes load this in the bottom side you can see they are the clouds now I'm gonna select one from here and make sure that the color is 100% white now make it bigger and click here now change the brush experiment which you have not too much Uh, this seems fine to me yeah and here a little bit like this mm, okay now no 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 not so much I think here a little bit and uh, here so I am happy with the effect as you can see. So now make visible the original background layer and press hold on alt and you can see the overall before and the after. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.